The inlocate is one of the first swinging skills that a gymnast will learn on rings. It is a useful skill to learn in itself and is also the foundation for developing other elements such as back up rise to handstand and forwards dismounts. Before starting to develop the inlocate, you should already have a strong basic swing with a good heel drive on the backward swing and should also have very good shoulder flexibility. I don't personally consider static inlocate an absolutely necessary prerequisite as I think it's actually more difficult than the full skill, but it is certainly a good way of starting to understand the movement and ensuring that your shoulders are even more flexible than you need them to be. The inlocate can be done in two different ways, either to piked inverted hang or with a straight body all the way around. According to the FIG code of points, both are acceptable skills in competition and both are worth A value. The straight body inlocate is considered the more technically correct and is certainly the most useful inlocate variation for building momentum as well as preparing for that swing to handstand. That being said, I see no harm in learning the inlocate to pike first as long as you understand that that's not the full version of the skill and as soon as the piked inlocate is understood and achieved you should start working towards the straight version. When you come to attempt the piked inlocate, start from a high swing or a cast, drive the heels like you normally would, turn the rings outwards and all the way around and towards the top of the swing, lift the hips, compress into the pike position and finish in inverted hang. It's important to not pike and duck under too soon. The upward phase of the swing should be exactly the same as a regular backward swing, with the inlocation occurring towards the top of the swing. Developing the straight inlocate from the pike inlocate should be fairly simple. It just requires a stronger heel drive and more swing. Try to maintain a tight arch shape during the upward phase of the skill before snapping to a dish as you come over the top. Initially, your shoulders will probably drop into inverted hang as you go over in the indicate, causing a loss in momentum and amplitude. As the skill gets stronger, aim to get the shoulders higher and higher over the top of the indicate, eventually striving to pass through an inverted cross position. Much like the basic swing, the key here is to keep the shoulders low as the heels drive and rise and then apply pressure downwards and turn the shoulders towards the top of the swing. As you pass over the top of the indicate, you should start to press the rings backwards and enter the normal forward swing position. You can use the same conditioning exercises which are used to strengthen the basic swing to continue to develop the physical preparation for the indicate. Once you understand how to do this, you can start doing several indicates in a row. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. If you did, be sure to like it, favourite it and share it with anyone else who you think might find it helpful. For more regular updates, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, and for even more videos and updates, make sure that you like my Facebook page and subscribe to my training YouTube channel. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, please leave them below and I'll make sure that I get back to you. Thank you. Hopefully see you again soon.